simplifying a rational expression, a a star. So what we've got here, we've got two quadratic type expressions, one on the top, one on the bottom, and we need to simplify. Now, the only way this is going to simplify is we can find a factor or a bracket that, that is on the top and the bottom. So we need to factorise both these equations. So looking at the top one, 12x squared minus 36x plus 15. Now, with that one, probably should think about is there a number that goes into all these, because these are all big numbers anyway. So let's think about a number that goes into all these. So 3 definitely goes into all of them. Um, and 3 times 5 is 15, so there's no 5s in those, so 3 definitely goes into all of that. Let's just divide by 3 to get a simpler quadratic to look at. OK, so we've got to factorise the 4x squared minus 12x plus 5. Now, I've come across a new method of doing these more complicated factorising. In the past, I would just work through all the different possibilities of getting that. So, um, you'd have to try with 4x and x and 2x and x, and then try different things that multiply to give you 5, but add to give you minus 12. But I've seen this method be, um, from Maths 24-7 which is if you take the 4x squared and just put 4x at the beginning of both brackets and then you take that 4 and you times this number by 4 to get 20 and you think about what multiplies to give you 20 but then will add to give you minus 12 and uh, plus 20 and minus 12 they've got to be both negatives and that's going to be 10 and 2 and it doesn't matter which bracket you put them in because they're both 4x's now that certainly doesn't multiply out to give you that, but if you cancel this down, so what goes into two, 4x and minus 10, well that's 2, we divide by 2, we get 2x and minus 5, and we do the same for this bracket if possible, we get 2x and minus 1, divide by 2, it doesn't always have to be the same for both, it could be different or it could just be one bracket that, fact, that cancels down, and this what we've got left here certainly multiplies out to give me this, and that for me is a much quicker and easier method than trying to try lots of different things. So we end up with this 12x squared minus 36x plus 15 to give me this, this, this factorised. Now let's look at the bottom. 12x squared, oops, I didn't write that down. 12x squared minus 3. Now, 12x squared minus 3, um, we could go straight to double brackets um, and think of something that's going to work there. Maybe, but there's lots of possibilities with the 12 and the minus 3. So we could have all sorts of things in here. So I'm thinking if it's an x squared minus something, this might be a difference of two squares. And if, it, in fact, if I take the three out, because I've got a little clue here, there's a three here. If I take the three out of this, to give me four x squared minus one, then it clearly is a difference of two squares, because four x squared is two x all squared, and minus one is one squared. Sorry, uh, take away one is take away one squared. So we've got this difference of two squares, which is going to be um, 2x plus 1 and 2x minus 1. Now we could have got a clue to what we were factorising from here, because um, if this is going to cancel at all, then one of these two brackets is going to be one of these two brackets. So when we were back up here, we could have figured out um, maybe there's a 3 there. We could have maybe started by dividing everything by 3, and that that would uh, simplify the whole thing to start with. But eventually we get to the point where we've got 3 lots of 2x minus 5 over 2x minus 1 um, all over 3 lots of 2x plus 1 and 2x minus 1. Now there is only really one mark for doing the actual cancelling which is this cancels this, the 3 cancels of that and you get the 2x minus 5 all over 2x plus 1 that gives you one mark um, but there are method marks available for um, just getting these factors so if you break them down and just do this top bit and if you can get to that that's a method mark if you can do this bit that's a method mark and um, there's even a method mark for just dividing throughout by three so cancelling the three out to start with which is probably the best way to approach it. I should have done that first that would have saved me factorising out these threes but this is a, a purer way to do it. So four marks in total, lots of marks for 
doing parts of the question and not the whole question so don't ever just leave this sort of question blank maybe just factorize one part of it if you can figure it out and you'll get some marks at the higher levels